Working in a consortium like Alliance 2015 helps to create a, a common operational picture. It means that every single NGO has uh, a, a great sort of um, forum to discuss ideas, to ensure that implementation is, is the best possible from all of our learned experiences. It also means that we have a, a wider reach. We manage to affect um, and help more people because we can uh, ensure that we don't overlap and we, we uh, are making sure that we go to as many communities as possible. First of all, we have to say that this is one of the biggest uh, projects we have here in Pakistan and I guess in terms of NGO support, one of the biggest NGO projects uh, funded by ECO Worldwide. As the flood happened, uh, we practically mobilized ourselves and our teams were on the ground with our partners trying to assess and to gather as much information as it possible in order to understand the scale of disaster. Some people are moving back to their places of origin, some people are still staying in uh, areas of displacement. We have to understand where are the needs. It's one of the biggest disasters that ever happened in the world. बिल्कुल वड़ो हो हितों और सांप बच्चड़ा पंजा कच्चे ते खाने आये लट्टा जी का पता ला ये खाने आये सामनी बंद ते बैठा से वरी बंद ते तकनी पचे पानी छोड़ के वरी आसानी करी वरी व्यास यह दरबार और ते भी आसानी स्कीन मार हूँ The reaction to the distribution is incredibly positive because people have been living in such a high level of poverty, they've lost absolutely everything and they have no coping mechanisms. So the only inputs that they're receiving right now are humanitarian aid and there are very few actors working in the area. designs of shelters. First, we uh, built through the contractors the foundations out of the fire breaks and uh, let the people build the walls. Very often they give suggestions, they are saying this is like we need the rooms a bit higher, listen, um, we have seven family members, the rooms is only four meters on four and a half meters, so they say how can we manage, it's too big, it's too small, can you decrease it a little bit? Alliance 2015 is working on many cash for work projects and there's many different schemes for example digging irrigation channels for a community to help uh, better serve the agricultural activities. They build these irrigation channels as a necessity to assist the agricultural activities. Within these projects they employ local people um, who would already have a need for that kind of activity and they give them a, a, a wage every day for unskilled labor um, which also helps with, with the livelihoods of their, their family unit as well. Involving women in cash for work uh, is bringing them forward uh, to empower them for long-term development. The women are mostly involved in handicraft, embroidery work, 
and the ensuing work. So this will contribute at the greatest level will contribute for their economic growth. So here we are attributing goats to the female headed families. We are giving them one goat each so that they can start their livelihood because they lost their uh, goats after this uh, flood 2010. And they can get milk from uh, their daily use from this one goat. The goats uh, really can change uh, somehow the livelihood of the people. Uh, we are always targeting households that used to base their livelihood on, uh, on livestock. They lost their, uh, their livestock because of a flood. And uh, okay. thanks to this project, we are uh, somehow giving back a source of income. So together with the woman, we went to have so-called cooking classes, not because we think they, they can cook, but to get an idea about nutritional value because we found out during many assessments that there's a lack of nutrition in the communities and we want to improve the nutritional status. And uh, there are uh, 20 to 25 women who are present here and uh, all women were interested in listening carefully. The women are, are very receptive and very participatory when we have these kind of training sessions. We, we make sure that we ask a lot of questions, we get a lot of involvement. The aids that we use are, are very visual and they also do a lot of practical demonstrations. So a lot of cards um, laminated showing people best practice, going in and, and, and showing them that the process of washing the hands, making sure your hands are wet first, lathering up, getting into all of the areas and, and then drying them, and trying to maintain that process, not only for them personally, but, but for their family and, and the, the community they live in. I'm very impressed with their uh, strengths to go on despite the situation which is uh, very dramatic for them in the last years. Local staff are fantastic. They have a lot of integrity, a lot of ideas, a lot of motivation. For some of them, this is their actual community. extremely happy and also they show it very much to us which is uh, which also gives us a lot of strength to go on with what we do even if it's not always so easy I am extremely optimistic about Alliance 2015 and the work that the NGOs involved in this consortium do yes <laughs>